welcome to my channel. I'm the Angry Simmer. Um, today is January 1st, 2020. Holy moly. That also means that it is my 29th birthday. Good lord. Um, it is crazy to be recording today, but uh, that's I've got the day off from work. I'm spending the day being lazy, so of course I'm going to record and play The Sims. Why wouldn't a 29-year-old woman do that? <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, if you saw my last video, you could, I'm sure you know that I'm going through like an exis- exis- <laughs> I can't talk today either, apparently. Um, an existential crisis <laughs> of just being a mess, being back to work, and trying to figure out how to balance this and my other channel, and, uh, workouts that I do, and I've got like this whole- I've got like food prep for tomorrow to take into work, and I plan to go to my gym after I get off work tomorrow and just get back into doing all the things that I like to do that I want to do for myself and uh, yeah because <laughs> you know of course that's what people plan to do you know and uh, on the first of January of every year. Resolutions woohoo! Um, but I guess mine isn't so much a resolution as it is of just like could, could I go back to doing the things that I was doing like six months ago? No problem. No, no, I can't. Oh, yeah, I'm going to try. Anywho, um, but something that has not changed and probably won't change is my obsession with Oasis Springs and how it just reminds me so much of Las Vegas. And I know that it's supposed to be kind of like Southern California, I think, but... I don't see that. <laughs> I have friends that live in Southern California. I've been there. I've spent the whole summer there. This feels like Henderson, Nevada to me. So I'll just continue to uh, build here in Oasis Springs and feel like it's like Nevada and the Sim Gurus can continue to think it looks like California. So whatever. Um, but I am building a, I guess it's a plan home, you could say. It's, um, there's a, I went on, basically I just googled like house development or home developers in Las Vegas or in Henderson, Nevada and one of these came up. I thought it was kind of cool. I thought it fit this neighborhood. Um, so I went with it and I think it's a, a really cute little place there. So uh, yeah, that would, good lord. So um, for those of you who are not homeowners or who have not looked into like building a house or building in a uh, subdivision. Looking at this lot hurts me. So it's beautiful, but it, it's like a pre, it would be a premium lot. And uh, your girl has, uh, has priced out stuff like this. And it hurts me now having that knowledge, knowing how expensive this lot would be. So just for an idea, we went into a uh, subdivision uh, probably like 10 minutes away from my work, which would have been a nice change. And uh, we're looking around, and we drove around the neighborhood first. That's the first time idea. Um, and we're like, oh, we want that one. That's the one. So of course, that's why it's the premium one, is because it makes you think, oh, I want that one. That's the one. And we're uh, we're driving around, we're looking, and we go and we talk to the lady, and we price out the house. We're like, yeah, yeah, this is all good. Yeah. And for some, you know, silly reason, I thought. <laughs> Oh, sh Nikes, I just realized that I put that double swing door in that entrance and I put a closet there. Well, that's okay, because this is, by the way, if I haven't explained it yet, this is just the exterior of the build. So we can readjust things in there, because I put enough closets to kill a moose in this house. I don't know why closets would kill a moose, but whatever. But back to my story. So, <laughs> sorry, I just giggled so much that my little bobblehead hulk shook. Anywho, um... So we, we build out the house where, you know, this is great. We're thinking that the lot price is included. And so she just, she's like, oh, I'm putting the standard price one in there. And it, it said $14,000. I'm like, excuse me, $14,000 for like a tenth of a quarter of a eighth of an acre. Like just like a pfft of land, just barely enough for the house to sit on. And, um... She's like, yeah, well, we can adjust it with the different ones, see, you know, what it would do for the overall bill for this lot or that lot. And so we're like, okay, well, this is the lot that we liked. It's this number. And she looks it up and it was $24,000. And I was astonished by this. And I'm talking to one of the guys at work about that. And he just looks at me funny. I go, what is it? What? And he goes, we paid $50,000 for our lot. And I'm going, ah! 
Why? Why? We don't live in an area that you should spend $50,000 on like less than an acre of land. It's just not, that's not where we live. And he's like, we just love the lot so much. We couldn't give it up. I was like, I would have like, are you insane? That's, that is insane. Now saying that he's a very hardworking man. He worked very hard for that money. It's his decision what he does with his own money. But your girl wouldn't spend 50 grand on, you know, a quarter of an acre. Just, it's not happening. Oh, this roofing made me so mad. I could swear that I was able to join two roofs like that up and make them seamless before. But no, we're just going to do it like this. This is a very, like, angular and modern looking house. Um, I don't know for sure if my husband and I would want to live in something like this. But, I mean... It's nice, so maybe. I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to see if we ever actually move out to Henderson. Um, I do not have a lot of the CC actually in my game at this moment, so I just used um, some of the Island Living or Island Paradise, whichever it is. <laughs> island Living, I think. Um, doors, slapped them on there and pretended like those were uh, for garage doors. It, it, it's fine. It looks fine, right? Nobody, I'm not going to be playing back there that much. You guys get the idea. Eventually I will download the garage doors again, but I just, whenever the latest update came out again and just broke everything, I just went with it. I was just like, eh, whatever. Um, so this was me deciding if I was doing interior or exterior and reminding myself to not stop reporting until I actually did some like actual landscaping. So, oh, I did a good job this time, although I'm going to fight with trying to decide if I want that to be so stinking angular there. Also, I'm putting in like a garage and a driveway. Oh, I forgot to cut this out. I'm sorry. But I put like a full on garage and driveway and like the whole bit there, just knowing that like, we don't have cars. That's use. That's a absolute useless waste of space on that lot. But hey, it goes with the floor plan that I'm copying. So, you know, whatever. Um, I do have a lot of fun with these tropical plants and things like that. I'm in the mint. I think they're really cute. I think they add a lot of splash, whereas some of the other plants just don't. Um, that's just me. I could be crazy. I tried to add like a stone or like a rock feature to this. Just get rid of as much grass as possible because that, the grass thing is more California. There is, there's grass in California, whereas it, out in uh, Las Vegas, there's really not. There's artificial grass, but... <laughs> But because it's a desert, it's a desert. What what would you expect? Um, yeah, I just I really enjoy the desert landscaping and having fun. I am still having the issue with it. The mouse is jumping when I'm trying to place things, but I'm not sure if it's the game or if it's actually my mouse because my mouse has been a pain in my butt lately. Like just stopped working. That fence looked like it was floating. Um, just all kinds of crazy stuff that's just, just no, it just shouldn't be messing up like this. Also, this is my lazy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, that fenced in partial yard, got a fence running down the one side, but I didn't close that bad boy in. No, why, why would you not do that? Oh, because you don't want a privacy fence blocking the view to the beautiful lake back there. So yeah, um, big fan of this. So sorry about the yawn. I'm not going to cut that out because, listen, you guys know the quality of my work right now. <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, I still, I think I really enjoy the way that this has turned out. I think it's uh, a lot better landscaping than I've ever really done. Or not ever really done, but I can definitely see there's a marked change in my ability for landscaping since I started um, this channel. So that's great. It's a skill that definitely needs to be developed. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very cynical right now with the whole turning 29 thing today. I'm freaking out just a little bit because, um, you know, so when you're 16 or when you're 12, you really wouldn't be 16. When you're 16, you really wouldn't be 18 because that's freedom. That's real freedom. Then you're 18, you're like, oh, I really want to be 21. Oh, I really want to be 25. 26 rolls around and you're like, oh, wait, wait. I'm supposed to start feeling like an actual adult now. Like, I've got privileges of being an adult, but I'm not actually, like... A legitimate adult yet I'm not feeling like it and like my husband and I have done things like I'm married clearly so I keep talking about that um, but I've done things that feel very grown up like being married being a homeowner having a career things like that but I just 
I don't feel like I'm ready to be 30. Like that feels like the boss level. Like that's the beginning stages of the boss level of the video game. And I don't know if I'm prepared for it. I don't know if I'm actually a grown up yet. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. It's just, it's just I, I'm freaking out a little bit. And I've got friends at work that are like 31, 32, 33, and they don't really seem like adults to me either. And I'm going, when is this going to click in? Because there are people at my work that seem like adults, but they're 55, 60, you know, a, like adults. <laughs> but 30, 30 is when, as a woman, you're considered a risk to have babies. Like, as soon as 30 hits, you're a geriatric pregnancy. So, like, what, help, <laughs> help, <laughs> I'm so scared, guys. Anyways, um, now that I've given you all an existential crisis with me as well, we're coming to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please leave comments of reassurance if you're over 30 or under 30 and somehow have some knowledge um, to share with the class. I'd appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I had a lot of fun with this one and we will do the inside of this one probably next week if I don't get bored and, you know, put it up this weekend. I don't know. Probably not though. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!